Cassie here. I'm so loving that you're loving the 20 minute isolate series. We started out with the inner thighs, we went to arms because you voted on it, and now we're here for the glutes, you guys. We're here for the glutes, the booty, the hamstrings, and we're gonna lift everything up in our 20 minute glute isolate video. So you guys, as you know, because you've been following along, each move is gonna be held for 55 seconds. You take a quickie five second break just to reset ourselves. Um, but you've got 20 moves, and these are the 20 moves for today. Oh yes, it's everything that you love to hate all in one video. Zero breaks, it's gonna be super intense, but I know you've got this. If you need to modify, that is absolutely fine. Just get through it, and the more times you do this video, the stronger you're gonna get, and um, yeah, I think it's gonna be super duper fun. So you guys, I have my timer all set up. Once I hit start, there is no turning back. And if you're ready, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, and let's go ahead and do this. George, are you ready? Do you wanna do glutes? George has a big old booty, look at that. You got a fluffy butt. You got a fluffy butt. He wants to work out with mom today. This is going to be interesting. I'm a little sure. Okay, <laughs> the first move, you guys, is going to be a pointed butt lift, okay? So I'm gonna take a moment to just set you up and then we'll get started. All right, sir. So check it out, you guys. You're going to point your toe towards the ceiling and then you're simply going to lift like that, okay? Don't open up your hip, belly button nice and in. <laughs> Okay, here we go, you guys. I just really, oh, he is stepping on the phone. Oh my gosh. If sir does that, we might have to start the workout over in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna very, very much keep this treasured and precious and no one's gonna touch it. Okay, here we go. In three, two, squeezing the abs, you guys. And you're going to lift up just like this, up. Squeezing, nice, tiny movement, just like that. Okay, we've got 20 minutes together. I'm super excited. Um, and we're targeting the booty, targeting the glutes, the under butt, that whole situation back there. Okay, you're gonna inhale through your nose, you're gonna exhale through your mouth, and keep your toes, keep your feet pointed hard. Already, just with this tiny movement, I feel it, because I'm controlling every time I'm going up. I'm squeezing my glutes. Nice, just like that. And you don't want to flare out your knee. We're going straight up, okay? And I want you to squeeze your core, squeeze your butt. See how much of a difference that makes? All right, good. Lifting, just like that. And check it out. I'm gonna make it real bad for you guys because we are gonna stay on the same side. So go ahead and flex your feet. You're gonna extend out into a hammy curl and come right back in. So my knee is going to stay at the same level the whole time. Imagine it's sitting on top of a coffee table or something and it can't move. So that's where I want your knee to be. You're not gonna bring the knee into the chest, not gonna bring it into the abs, it's gonna stay right there, super extended, okay? Now your foot. You're gonna flex your foot super duper hard, okay? The harder you flex the foot, the more you're working that hamstring. Now I've said this before, but I'm gonna say it again. If you want to lift your butt, you gotta work your hamstrings. Because your hamstrings are the elevator to your booty, okay? So we gotta work everything around the glute area if you want the glutes to lift. This also includes your lower back too. Okay, you guys, now, you're gonna keep that foot flex, and you're gonna place the foot down, and you're gonna lift up. Oh, it is getting real right now. Down and up, flexing your foot, keeping that leg nice and long and straight, okay? Come on, up and down. Now, when it comes to the arms, I don't want you to lock them out. I want you to keep them slightly bent, okay? Slightly bent, and if for some reason your wrists are hurting, you can go like this and do that, okay? But I want you to stay up for this one because it'll allow us to work our lower back. Like I said, the lower back also contributes to that booty lift, everything around the glutes, okay? Keep flexing hard. 
Okay, you guys. Rainbow butt is next. I want you to point your toes. Bring it outside the mat. Lift and outside the other side of the mat, okay? Drawing that rainbow butt in a kneeling position. Okay, how are we feeling? You feeling okay? Ooh, it is. Um, what, we're like a few moves in right now? You guys, you need to get that booty strong, okay? Train your mind to be tough. Train it to be super tough. We're gonna get through this. And if you are shaking right now, I'm so proud of you because you are pushing yourself. You are going hard, okay? We don't wanna ever cheat ourselves of our goals. Give this workout everything you've got, okay? And it's not gonna be easy. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna be challenging. But that's how you get to be a stronger version of yourself every single day. Okay, okay. Woo! Round to the other side. Are you ready? Pointed butt lift, left. We're up and down. Just tiny movements. Woo! A nice, fresh booty. That feels so, so good. So good. All right, so since you guys already know exactly how to do these moves, because he's just repeating on the other side, let's talk, yeah? Okay, you guys, so right now, I am in super event planning mode. So obviously there's puppies and planks, but I'm planning an instructor retreat for Pop Pilates instructors right now. And I wasn't sure when we were actually going to do this because it's a really big undertaking. Like, it is a lot. Um, again, it's like planning a wedding, but even more. I don't know how I got myself into this. <laughs> Um, okay, you guys, next one is hammy curl left. So flex your feet, you're gonna extend and in. Okay, so funny story. Um, after the wedding, I was in complete bridal bliss, you guys, last October. And afterwards, I told Sam that I wanted to change my career and become a wedding planner. I was kidding, not kidding. Um, but I guess <laughs> because I declared that, um, somehow my desires and the universe uh, made a made a pact or they, they they came to a decision that I could continue to plan wedding like things so this year has definitely become the year of events and I am planning the pop instructor retreat right now and let me tell you it is like planning the wedding and it's so fun because I'm also working with the wedding planner who planned um, me and Sam's wedding. So it is basically kind of the same thing and I'm so, so, so excited. Hey guys, flex butt lift, so down and up. Um, I'm so excited because our wedding planner literally was the coolest human ever. She was so nice, so passionate about her job and, um, and, and she really loved us and we really, really love her too. So it's so, I just had to find a way to work with her again. And so she is helping to plan the pop retreat for the instructors this summer. And um, there's gonna be so many cool activities, you guys. So many cool activities. Um, certification. I don't think I'm supposed to tell you that, but that's happening. And also, um, there's gonna be a black tie awards gala for our instructors. And this, this thing was like a topic too, because I was talking to my program director, Jules, and I was talking to Sam, and we obviously needed an awards gala, and I love it when people dress up. Okay, you guys, next one is rainbow butt left. So, it was pointed out. Woo! Okay, up and down. So anyway, I love dressing up, but then Jules and Sam were like, Oh, Cassie, it's gonna be just too much to ask people to dress up super formal, like let's just make a cocktail. And I was so adamant. I was like, nope, it's gotta be black tie. It's gotta be formal. Let's talk red carpet, but really like pink carpet. And, um, and then when we announced it that way, oh my gosh, people were so excited. And right now I am currently looking for the pop prom dress that I'm gonna wear. And um, if this retreat, is going to really be amazing, which I think it is. Um, we'll get to do it every year. And that means I'll basically get to plan a wedding every year of my life until death. It's gonna be so much fun, um, which means I get to wear a new dress every year, which is super, super cool too. Okay. 
Okay, you guys, that was so good. Now we head into bridge. So I want you to come down, feet hip width apart. We're going to lift up and lower. Woo! Just like that. So this is a little bit of a breather for you. You're gonna exhale, squeeze your butt and come down. Oh man, my heart rate is up from talking, from squeezing, from rainbow butting. Oh man, it's gonna be good. But yeah, you guys, the retreat's gonna be super fun. There's gonna be like cooking classes, all types of healthy food, um, lots of training, lots of photos and pictures, and lots of pop flags. So I'm really excited to see how this is going to turn out because if we figure out how to do this and how to do it well, do you think we should do like a Blogilates popster retreat? Like, should we do that, you guys? If you think we should, comment down below. Let me know where we should have it. One second. Okay, single leg. Oh, you guys, you're gonna hate me for this. Okay, right leg up. We're down and up. I want you to point the toes super hard, straighten that leg. If you're slightly bent, it's okay, it's flexibility. Just do the best that you can, okay? Oh my gosh, my glute is dying. This one right here, my left one. How you feeling? You feeling okay? All right, back to the conversation. So, you guys, if you want a popster retreat, I need you to comment down below exactly your feelings on this. Like imagine if all the popsters from all over the world got together and we shared like a healthy fridge and a cool place and we like really shared all of our truest feelings about everything and just really got so raw and vulnerable and, um, and took so many pictures and uh, I just feel like it would be so much magic. I couldn't even handle it. Okay, you guys, we're gonna drop the leg. Uh, yes, that's what we're doing. Okay, so you lift up, same leg. We're going to point parallel and lift back up. Now, do you feel that left glute <laughs> wanting to give out and die? Because I do. Ooh, but do your best to lift the hips up here, okay? We'll give this side a break soon, but we gotta finish with these. Oh my gosh. This is just terrible. 20 minute glute isolation. This is for real glute isolation. Okay, keep going, stay strong. Mind strong, hands down on the mat. Upper back pressed into the mat. You can take your time. I am shaking so much right now. <sighs> Breathing. Ah, uh, okay, oh my gosh. All right, you guys, we are on to the other side, left. So I want you to bring it up. We're down and up. Okay, fresh butt. Definitely appreciate this moment because as you know, that's gonna happen again before the other side. So squeezing your quads, pointing your toes, belly button in to the back, okay? Nice, slow and controlled. So, yeah, um, pops to retreat. Let's start thinking about it. Um, put all of your dreams and wishes about a retreat down in the comments below. I definitely think we should start talking about it. But right now, I'm planning for the pop retreat for our Pop Pilates instructors. And I'm just so, so thrilled because that community is so strong, so kind, and we're just spreading that Pop Pilates love everywhere. It is so crazy for me to think that right now, okay, next move, you guys. Lifting up, we're dropping the leg. Down and up. Take your time, because you know what's about to happen. Okay, it is so crazy for me to think that back in 2009, which is 10 years ago now, there was only one person doing Pop Pilates, or teaching Pop Pilates, and that was me the one YouTube video that probably some of you guys um, did in the very beginning. And it was very grainy and terribly edited. I didn't know what I was doing. And now, there's over 4,000 classes being taught every single month all over the world of Pop Pilates. Like, I just can't, I can't, I, I don't know. It's like amazing. And it's just really cool because that means that more people are becoming connected in real life through fitness, which I think is so amazing because that's where you make those relationships that last forever. Ah! Okay.
Okay, how are you feeling? All right, you guys, bridge walks. So check it out. You're gonna bring yourself up like so. We're gonna walk out the heel, walk it back in. So this is major hamstring mania, okay? You wanna try to keep the hips as still as possible. Why? Because that helps you work your core, okay? Helps you work those abs, the back, and you wanna squeeze your abs every time you walk. It doesn't need to be quick. You just need to be controlled. You are in control of your body. Okay. This first half of our glute isolate video has been so insane. I know 100% that I'm going to be so sore tomorrow, like for sure, maybe even for three days. I, I know my body and I know that these combination moves, that it's gonna do it. All right, let's check it out. What's next? Okay, prone heel push. So you guys are gonna be down on your mat, just like so, okay? And head on here. What you're gonna do is lift up and down. So your booty is really squeezing here. It's not a big movement. Um, your head should be relaxing on top of your hands, just like that. And we're squeezing the butt and just lifting the heel. That's all it is. So time for you to let the heart rate come back down, okay? Because I know mine is up. And really think about controlling the movement, squeezing your butt cheek as you lift, squeezing. Now it doesn't have to be fast, okay? Doesn't have to be fast. You just gotta do it with purpose. Do it right. You're gonna feel everything. Whew. Okay, now you guys, prone hammy curl right. So same thing, you're gonna lift up that, that knee, extend and back, just like that. Extend and back. As you can see, you, or as you can feel, you're working a lot of lower back as well by lifting that knee, by lifting your quads. Relax your head, relax your shoulder. You guys feeling this? You might be feeling some inner thigh too with all of that flexing. So keep flexing hard. You're pushing that heel out. And by me working only one side at a time, really exhausting it, you're really gonna get the most work and most benefit out of this. Whoo! Almost there, you guys are doing so, so good. I'm super proud of you. <sighs> gonna inhale through your nose. Gonna exhale through your mouth. Stay strong, knees up. Whoo! <sighs> okay, you guys, prone heel push left. So same thing, other side. Tiny movement, flex the foot up and down, lift and lower. It is so tiny, it is so, so tiny. But I do like the fact that I get to lay down right now. It's like so deceiving. It's like you're laying down, but totally not. Up and down, lift and lower. Flexing and lowering. Very, very good, you guys. Up and down. Oh, yeah, so I don't know what my pop prom dress is going to look like this year. I really want to try to find some type of a gown that is like, has a, like a romper inside. I just love rompers so much, and plus that means I can dance like crazy. And I love dancing. So I'm gonna try to find that. Um, if anyone has a link to something that I might like, and I love sparkles, Please link me in the comments. Okay, hand me curl and lift up that knee. Make sure that knee's lifted. Flex and down. Okay, the foot is staying flexed this entire time. Good. Keep going. Back. Just like so. Relaxing the head. Flexing the foot. It's a lot to think about, okay, because our backside is so engaged right now and the head is supposed to be so effortless, uh, so just relax. It's hard because you want to tense your whole body. Just really try to put all your energy into that back leg. And try to keep your knee lifted, okay? There's a lot going on. Push with the heel. And if you need to point to be like, oh, okay, let me flex again, that's fine. Sometimes our bodies get confused. <sighs> okay. 
Okay, we only got a couple more. Grasshoppers in the same position. Knees super duper wide, head down. You're gonna lift up the knees, come back down. A very tiny, tiny movement. But really works the booty, really works that low back. Up and down. Lift and lower. Up and down. And you know, while I was searching for my wedding dress last year, I followed a ton of bridal accounts, a ton of Instagram bridal designers, and I'm still following them. I don't really know why. I just love dresses. Kind of want another reason to wear another wedding dress, <laughs> which makes absolutely no sense because they're so expensive. Um, but I guess being able to wear a quote unquote prom dress, a red carpet dress at our retreat this year, Maybe that'll satisfy it for me. Okay, you guys, last one. It's a double hamstring curl. So, heels pressing, we lift, we extend, and in. So it's taking what we just learned, but now double, okay? You guys, it's your last one, so give it everything you've got. I know it's not easy, but we're almost there. You've got 40 seconds left, come on. Stay strong, relax the head. Keep those knees high, come on. Keep those quads up, flex the feet. Huh. Out, and in, and out, and in. You're so close, keep going. 20 seconds more. Don't die on me. Breathing, flexing, really extending those legs. Push through, push through a heavy wall, push through those barriers, push through this challenge. You're so close to being done. One more. And bring it down. Oh! oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna stretch you out because this is so necessary. You may not be able to get up right now and walk if I don't stretch you. So stay for the video, you guys. You need this part. Let's go ahead and bring opposite ankle over opposite knee. And I want you to grab through your legs Flex this foot and come down. Hi, George. He came to say hello and good job, mommy, for finishing the video. Okay, pulling it in. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. So good. Other side. Opposite ankle over opposite knee. Flexing the foot and pulling it in. And just breathe. Wow. That feels so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do one more. X butt. So cross your knees, hold on to the tops of your feet where your toes are, lift up, and then pull in. Yes. Really feel my glute there. Relax. Thank your body for letting you do that. You guys, we're so lucky for even having a functioning body that allows us to put uh, our bodies through this. It's incredible, it's absolutely incredible. So every time you are able to work out, go ahead and switch. Just be grateful that you can't. Some people can't. So let's not be mad or feel like working out is a chore or that you hate it. Clearly you don't because you're here and you're, you're with me right now. Um, but we just gotta switch our minds, switch our mentalities. Because being able to work out is a total blessing, completely. Okay, it should make you happy, it should make you better, it should make you stronger. And if not, then maybe you just need to find a workout that does make you feel that way. Inhale through the nose, big exhale through the mouth, slowly roll up, lift up, and bring it over. Nice stretch for the hamstrings here, which we worked a lot. And slowly lift up. You guys, we did it. How's, how's my hair, did it stay? Okay, I think it's good. You guys, give yourselves a huge round of applause. That was insanely difficult, and we were with each other for an entire 20 minutes. Your booty deserves some rest. If you need to stretch it more, go ahead and do that. Um, and if you wanna try out some of my other 20 minute isolate videos, go ahead and check those out. We've got one for arms, we've got one for inner thighs. And um, yeah, it's been brutal, 
but it's also been beautiful, you guys. Thank you so much. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already, and then comment down below if you think we should have a popster retreat of some sort, where we should have it, and some of your like dream activities. Like go crazy, because once you put it out in the world, out in the wild, you never know what might happen with these ideas. Okay, love you so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.